Spring 1816. Eight inches of snow still covers the ground. The harvest is threatened. A famine is feared. Melancholy and discussions of retrenchment fill Jane's family's home at Long Park Mead. A letter arrives offering Jane and Vincent, the Prince Regent's glamorists, a commission at Stratton House. They invite Melody, Jane's unattached sister, to join them in London, hoping to raise spirits, hoping to find Melody a suitable match. But London is filled with tumult, as unemployed coldmongers are beaten and blamed for the unseasonable weather. At Stratton House, the magical glamural progresses, as does the Baron's son's affection for Melody. Jane finds Mr. O'Brien's advances improper. He is, after all, Irish Catholic. Jane's concern intensifies when she overhears Mr. O'Brien discussing a plot to march on Parliament. She confides in Vincent, who must also confront his past. When his cruel, estranged father, Lord Verbury, approaches Vincent with a commission of his own, his quest for power endangers them all. Without a Summer, the third in a series of glamorous histories. By award-winning author, Mary Robinette Cole.